be pretty hazardous to your health. 22 News reporter Caitlin Gosley is live from our Hampshire County Bureau to explain the importance of staying hydrated in these extreme temps. It is critical to drink lots of water in this heat wave. Those that are most at risk are children, elderly, anyone with a heart condition, and those that are taking medications that may cause them to retain water. The extreme heat and high humidity can make it harder for our bodies to cool off. Pretty much swimming every day. It's the only way to stay cool. I have no AC, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Heat exhaustion can kill you. Heat stroke becomes heat exhaustion if you don't treat it. Doctors say your best defense against these illnesses is to stay hydrated. Caffeine and alcohol dehydrate your body and are not recommended on these hot days. Caitlin Ott works outside and told 22 News she knows if she waits until she gets thirsty to start drinking water, she may already be dehydrated. I just drink a glass of water every hour and that's basically what I do. And I also drink coconut water because it's really hydrating. I try to eat a lot of fresh vegetables, also really hydrating. Hydrating with sports drinks is important if you're doing strenuous activity outside. But doctors warn there is a big difference between a commercial sports drink and an energy drink. The caffeine in the energy drink can do more harm than good in this heat. Symptoms of dehydration are dizziness, nausea, vomiting or weakness. Also be aware muscle cramps, flushed skin, headaches, dark urine, or if you stop sweating, could all be symptoms of heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Doctors warn that if you feel any of those symptoms, it is important to get yourself to a cooler location, use cold, wet claws on your forehead and neck, and if you have any change in consciousness, your body may be overheating and you need to call 911. Live in Hampshire County, Caitlin Gosley, 22 News.